行。Good morning, everyone. Greetings from Beijing. Welcome to another sunny day in Beijing. And here we are outdoors in Beijing in a really beautiful environment. My name is Lucy Liu. Behind the camera is my lovely colleague, Leah. Today, we are talking about how public transport in Beijing is gradually resume normal operation. Today, we are in a very special part of the Beijing public transport system. If you can see, we are actually actually on trails. This is a newly built light rail or tram system in Beijing built just about three years ago at the end of 2017. And this tram line has only six stops, but it covers all the major scenic area in the west suburbs of Beijing. So it has a really fitting name called the Xijiao Line or the West Suburb Line. This is the station of the Fragrant Hill Mountain. If you follow where my hand is pointing to behind the camera, you can actually see a really beautiful hill behind the camera. So my colleague Leah is taking you through the beautiful view of Fragrant Hill on the west side of Beijing. And let's follow the camera and follow me. We can see that when West Line tram is actually pulling in to the station, it is the first modern tram line in Beijing. Beijing actually had a tram line before built in the 1900s. However, this one is the first modern one. And we are really, really lucky to be here to see how it resumes normal operation when now the COVID-19 pandemic in Beijing is gradually getting under control. So you can see that the tram has both English and Chinese signs. And a lot of travelers are taking it because it is still within the long weekend of the May Labor holiday. So let's follow these travelers to exit the station because first of all, I want to find out together with you how the drivers get ready to be on the tram. This is the driver himself. Of course, we're not going to follow this driver because he's going to the other side of the station. And we're going to go into this door with the staff of the Beijing Light Rail Company. Once again, my name is Lucy. Behind the camera is my colleague, Leah. This brand new live stream is talking about how the public transport in Beijing is getting back to work. And this live stream is brought to you by the China Media Group. Please like comment and share as much as you can. Today, I'm taking you on a journey of how a driver gets ready to go to work for the Beijing Light Rail. This small compartment is actually the office and the rest area for the drivers. We're going to enter this office. 你们好,大家好。So I just have said hello to the drivers. And let's see what they're getting ready. 你们好, so the driver just told me that they are now signing in the drivers. And let's see how they go through the whole process. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section. We can see all of your comments in real time. And we will try my best to answer any questions that you have. 请给我们展示一下整个过程。So uh, this is driver Mr. Li, Li Fei. You guys can say hello to him. This is Li Fei, the driver. 您好,今天怎么样感觉? 嗯,状态很好。So I asked him how he's feeling today, and he said he's feeling pretty good. 那请您给我们展示一下整个您的准备过程。So let him um, show us his whole preparation process. 请您开始吧。那我是九从。首先是进入办公区域以后,然后我们是一般是先吹。So first of all, he will do an alcohol test. 
Thank you for everyone who's already coming to watch and comment. Hello to Charles Johnson for your question. Is there still social distancing? Yes, there still is. So first of all, Mr. Lee, the driver, he <laughs> is keying in his number, staff number, and he's blowing into the machine. And you can see that the machine is saying that his alcohol level is normal, which means he's fit to work. And he gets this small receipt. Michael Lawton asked, what are the hours like? That's a really good question. Let me ask Li Fei. Li Fei 老师, 请问, uh, 每次就是上班, 一般是工作几个小时, uh, um, 一般是八到九个小时, mm -hmm, so Michael, uh, Mr. Li said, usually they, uh, one shift is eight hours, but between uh, the shift, they will be getting a rest. Thank you so much for your question. 那最后会做什么? What's the next step? Thank you so much. So what Miss Lee was doing that he uh, read the policies on the wall to remember before he goes on to work, to remember to keep his passengers safe and do everything that he can as a driver to make sure they have the best travel experience. We have Sean Edwards said, we call them conductors. Thank you so much for your comments. And Stan, Elma, Judy are saying good morning and they're watching from the USA. Thank you so much for watching. Let's see what the next step is for the drivers to be safe. So you can see that he's getting his temperature check, and the conductor said that his um, temperature is normal, 36.7 degrees Celsius within healthy body temperature. This is also a measure that they have adopted during the COVID-19 pandemic to make sure that the driver's temperature will be checked once before and once after work to make sure that they are safe. So you can see that they input all the details, body temperature accurately and sign their name to make sure that this is all within safe bounds. In a minute, when they finish the process, we will be moving out and we will be going to the station. Really looking forward to it. If you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. It is a rare opportunity to see how a public transport system in Beijing gets back to work. So one important step that we shouldn't miss so, so they have to show the manager their driving license because they need a special drive license to be able to drive the tram. After they show the license, they will be putting the license in their pocket and then go to work. So I said thank you so much for showing us the uh, procedure that the drivers will keep to go to work. And like you can see, this office is a temporary office that the drivers use to rest and get a little bit of break. They make sure that they have enough water and they wash their hands, check their body temperature before they go to the tram and drive it. So now we are going to follow another part of the journey. We are going to go and see how the passengers get on to the tram and is there any special process to make sure that the passengers are safe. Once again, this is the beautiful tram, the light rail west suburb line of Beijing built at the end of 2017. A really, really beautiful tram, new modern line in Beijing and it takes through six different stops and 
the average speed for this tram is 30 kilometers per hour. So let's follow my colleague Leah's camera and we are going to go and check out how guests or passengers get in. We have a comment by Adriano said that is good. Yes, I agree with you. It is a really good process to make sure that passengers and drivers are both safe before they get on the train because as we have heard from scientists, the coronavirus can stay on hard surface. So it is really important to make sure all the surface areas are clean and the people who are operating are sound and healthy. So this is the environment of the Fragrant Hill stop of the Beijing West Suburb Line. It is really, really beautiful. A very sunny day in Beijing. The temperature is about 20 degrees Celsius and it is still within actually the last day of the long weekend. And you can see a lot of people, visitors are actually lounging around in the shade. We have Elaine said, I've been on a train in China last year. It is immaculate. Thank you so much. In China, we do make sure that the public transport are clean because we know it is a very vital part of people's daily life and people take it all the time. So we are now going to go into this area where a passenger should get in. So first of all, I want to show you guys these lines on the floor. These lines on the floor, as you might tell, are the one meter, one meter boundary for passengers to remember their social distancing. If I was pretending to be a passenger trying to get on to the train, I'll be stopping here. Actually, there's one already going in. You can see how she gets checked. So first of all, her bags had to go through the safety um, trail and make sure she doesn't have sharp objects inside. And next, her body temperature will show on this. So this is me. Hello. This is me. <laughs> and you can see the thermal detector is actually picking up my temperature and they will see that I am safe and having a good temperature. You can see that this gentleman is operating this machine to tell the temperature. We have a Stan who asked, if they have a spike in their body temperature, do they too have to self-quarantine or go to the hospital? That's a really good question, Stan. Um, if they have a body temperature that's not normal, I want to ask a staff in the tram company to let me know about it. Hello. 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 Uh, this is Yin Bo. So, this everyone, this is Yin Bo. Hello, everyone. Okay. Hello, everyone. This is Yin Bo. I'm a staff office working for Best Suburb Line. Thank you. So you guys, you heard Ying Bo. Her name is Ying Bo. You can say hello to her. Her last name is spelled B-O, Ying Bo. And she is a staff of the West Suburb Line. Stan, I will ask Ying Bo your question about if they have a spike in their body temperature, do they have to self-quarantine? 我们有一个观众问, 如果就是员工的体温太高了,会不会需要自己要隔离? Uh, yes, we have the measures to take the body temperature of the staff daily. And if the temperature is in normal, uh, we will do the self-isolation for them. Thank you so much. So you guys can tell that um, uh, Ying Bo has a beautiful English and I, and I don't have to ask her questions in Chinese anymore. Thank you, Ying Bo. And she said that um, if a staff member's body temperature spiked, they have to self-quarantine. So let's keep going. And oh, yes, Inbo has something that she wanted to show. So you can show it. This is yes, the, the tickets, mm -hmm. the tickets, paper tickets. The paper and tickets. Yeah. And uh, when you get into the station, you just uh, scan the QR code, QR code, code and uh, you can uh, get into the station. Thank you. So this is a um, 
paper uh, ticket mm -hmm. and it looks so beautiful. I think I can actually keep it as a souvenir next time if I buy a ticket to come into the West Suburb line. You can scan the QR code as well. And in Bo, let's walk and talk uh, into the station. This is the last stop of the Beijing uh, West Suburb tram line. So it is relatively quiet. But if you follow my colleague Leah's camera, you can still see a lot of people running to the station. And here, this is a flood of passengers getting off the station. We have so many wonderful comments. Thank you so much. We have um, Kenny said, what's the difference uh, uh, from China tram to the tram in Melbourne? Really good question, Kenny. I want to show you this. One similarity of the tram between China and Australia or around the world is that we also have a ticket vending machine. In this ticket vending machine, you can see that we have six different stops. Fragrant Hill, we have um, the Botanic Gardens, Wan An, Cha Pong, and the uh, stop in the um, garden and all of these stops can serve commuters and tourists alike. In this um, ticket vending machine, similar to the tram in Australia, you can also buy a ticket by scanning your bank card or your QR code uh, using WeChat Pay or different pay. We have John who asked, looking forward to visiting Beijing again soon. Welcome, sir, to visit Beijing soon and hope that this will all be over soon and international flights can resume. I hope international travel will open again. Greetings from Santa Monica from California. Thank you so much for your greeting. Greetings to you from beautiful, sunny Beijing. Inbo, do we have to use this ticket to go into the train? Thank you so much. So Inbo is now scanning the ticket. Then push the, uh, push, push the, this? yes. So I'm in and waiting for my colleague to come in too. The light is green. Avaro said, I hope you're getting great. Thank you so much, Avaro. We are doing really well. We have a spring set. Was watching your live broadcast in China Summit Hotel yesterday. It was wonderful. Thank you. So guys, this whole um, program, the whole series is about getting back to work. And we have interviewed different industries and learning about how they're getting back to work. Yesterday, we interviewed the hospitality industry. And today, we're here in the public transport system. So this public transport system has stations, passengers, and the tram itself. How can they keep all of this clean during the COVID-19 pandemic is a question that I want to ask the staff. So let's, Yinbo, come with me. <laughs> uh, I want to ask you how they keep the station and the tram clean during the coronavirus outbreak. Oh, we have the measures to disinfect the platform station, mm -hmm. the tram cars, mm -hmm. and all the facilities mm -hmm. five times a day. Mm -hmm. So five times a day, they will disinfect the whole station and the vehicle. Yeah, yes. So five times a day using uh, disinfectant products. You can see this tram is pulling out, and it is a beautiful tram, a double traction tram. Bye bye. So the next stop is actually the Botanic Garden stop. But we will have a look at this stop and see how they disinfectant the station. So you can see a cleaning um, lady is actually over there. We have Darwin said, good job, Lucy. Three stops from the west to east of Beijing must be very efficient to transport a large group of people in a long distance. How is the tram's average speed? Thank you so much for your question. That is an amazing question. Actually, the average um, speed is 30 kilometers per hour. However, this tram can reach a top speed of 70 kilometers per hour. So only six stops it can complete in uh, half an hour, five minutes per station, 
pretty fast. Let's see. I can see a passenger right here. And um, let me see if he's happy to talk to me and um, if uh, he is feeling safe nowadays taking a train. 您好,先生,请问您可以回答几个问题吗? Um, so he's really happy to answer my question. 请问您叫什么? Oh, so this is Mr. Xu. You can say hello to Mr. Xu. Is he traveling today? So today he is with his family and he will be climbing the Fragrant Hill Mountain. This time, is he feeling safe to take the public transport? This time, do you feel safe to take the public transport? Yes, very safe. And then, 卫生方面,我看他们都每天都在消毒,非常健康。So he was saying that he feels that the public transport system is very safe because he sees that they disinfected it every day. So let's wish him a good journey today with his family. 谢谢您,希望您今天愉不愉快。Really good. And you can see all of these passengers getting off. One thing I can definitely notice is that everyone is still wearing a mask. Another question, another comment from Mr. Truman. Wow, so organized. Thank you. It is very organized. And you can see that the drivers are here taking their bag, getting ready. So he's the driver and he's actually here waiting for the car that he will drive. You can see all of the safety measures in place. He's wearing his glove. He's wearing his glove and he's uh, wearing his face mask as well. More questions are coming in. Jesse said that it's very convenient. Lucy, yes, thank you. I agree. It is very convenient. Willa said, how are you? I'm happy to watch and would like to tell you you're doing a great job. Thank you so much. Willa, not only um, my colleague behind the camera, is doing a great job. All of the transportation staff are doing such a great job to make sure the system can still run. Are we going to take a ride also this morning? Yes, you bet, Stan. We are going to get on a tram and we are going to take a short ride on the tram. Um, it is good that he felt safe. Yes, it is. What a beautiful platform, clean, huge, beautiful views. Thank you so much, Spring. With safety measures, has there been more confidence with the public? Has it increased of public um, passengers? Really good question. Um, so we have both Yingbo and uh, Yang Meng here. Yang Meng is also a technician in the company and can answer your question, Kenny. Let's let Yang Meng introduce herself first. To introduce yourself, please. Hey guys, my name is Yang Meng. I am an engineer assistant working in CDL line. So Yang Bo is a very clever girl, a, a technician and uh, an engineer. As assistant in the Xijiao line. We have a question from our audiences and I will ask in English because I know both their English is really good. The question is, um, do you see an increase of passengers now? Yes, since the end of March, passenger, more and more passengers are getting in our line. Mm -hmm. For better prevention, we are using, you see, 10 carriages, double traction tram cars. This is for better prevention. Mm -hmm. So Yang Meng, uh, let's walk together to the tram. Thank you. So he, she said that um, actually um, now at the end, uh, at the beginning of May, they're already seeing a spike of passenger numbers. You got it, Kenny. And now before they have only five passengers, five passengers running. However, now they need 10 of them to make sure enough social distancing is kept in between the lines. We have Stan who asks, how long is this shift driving? We just ask the driver, Stan, the uh, shift is actually eight hours, and they will get a break in between. You can see now that the tram is pulling out again. Does the tram and trains have Wi-Fi, Lucy? Thank you, Jesse. Really good question. Uh, sorry, we don't have Wi-Fi yet, but we'll have in future. 
Thank you. A lot of confidence. They don't have Wi-Fi yet, but in the future, very soon future, right? Yeah, maybe this year. Mm -hmm. This year, they will be having Wi-Fi installed. Love the video. Thank you. Please stay safe. Thank you very much. Then the drivers are young. What is the age range? Charles, really good question. What is the age range of the drivers? Age range. Uh, they are very young. Mm -hmm. Their average age is about 30. 30, thank yeah. you. So the average age is about 30 years old and you can see it is a young and confident team guarding the passengers in Beijing and making sure that they're safe. Let's talk to uh, some more passengers on the station and then we will be getting on the next tram, guys. Oh, we can see a lovely girl wearing uh, purple. Hello. Uh, so I said, can we speak to her? And she said, yes. My name is Liang Wenying. Oh, Liang Wenying. So you can see that she can speak English as well. Her name is Liang Wenying. Is she traveling with family today or traveling on her own? Uh, no, not really. I go outside with my friends and uh, I'm still here to waiting for my friends. Maybe uh, she is late. <laughs> Thank you. So her friend is late and she's waiting for her friend. And I want to ask, does she feel safe to be on a public transport system now? Do you feel safe to take public transport system? Yes, I feel at ease uh, to take this uh, tram, uh, uh, especially at this cor uh, coronavirus special time. Uh, we ha uh, there has a uh, uh, check temperature. So I feel it's safe. Thank you. So she's feeling really safe and she is uh, now uh, taking the public tram system because of the good uh, management and they're keeping the tram clean. We can see that our tram is actually pulling into the station. Hello, we will be getting this tram. And we can see a lot more questions here. Great to hear there's an increase of passengers. Yes, and they're doing some really beautiful work to increase the passengers. Is it hard to be a tram driver? That's a good question. I think um, Yang Mo is fit to answer this question. Is it hard to be a tram driver? Well, it will take three months to get a lesson. I think it's a kind of hard compared to cars. Thank you, so they have three month of special training especially to learn how to drive this can't wait to get on it looks like a comfortable ride the view of the city would be cool tom let's get on the tram and take a ride together love this beautiful place in china it is very beautiful a beautiful station as well this station is called the fragrant hill station and usually in beijing in autumn we would have a maple leaf festival in where we are in this area and last year they have broke record of how many people on the tram daily they had 96,000 of people taking the tram at once and sorry not at once daily uh, during the maple leaf festival so guys here we are tada inside the beautiful tram and let's check out the chairs the chairs they wipe it five times a day let me sit on it Oh, it's really nice and comfortable and they also wipe the poles any of the handles inside the tram five times a day as well let me turn around because I can see a conductor 你好 a conductor right here 你好辛苦了请问您姓什么 Ma so this is Mr. Ma he is a conductor on the west line uh, tram and you can see he's wearing his mask as well and every day he will be washing his hand and making sure that he is very clean and hygienic when he goes to work let's take a walk on the tram how fast does it go jimmy jimmy the average speed is 30 km per hour and the top speed reaches 70 km per hour and the whole tram line has six stops 
um, it is five miles long and 8.8 .8 kilometers long. It only has six um, lines for now because it is a newly built modern tram railway and it is helping linking all the scenic spots in the west of Beijing. Let's check out the TV inside. So inside this TV on the top, it shows the day today and the hour and it shows the first tram it starts at uh, 5.30 in the morning and the last one is 22, which means 10.30 in the afternoon. And the direction of the tram is from Fragrant Hill to Bago, the next stop. So you can see if you are a passenger speaking English, you will be able to understand all of the signs. You can see the signs right on the top of your head. Jimmy said, awesome, thank you. Jesse said, do they have power outlets in the platform as well as in the trams, Lucy? So I think it's a good question to ask our engineer. Yang Meng, is there a power outlet in the tram or in the station? Uh, sorry, we cannot allow you to charge your phone on the tram car. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, Jesse, we do not have a power outlet. You can hear the siren now. The door has closed and we are taking the tram to our next stop. Where is our next stop, Yang Mo? Botanical Garden. So our next stop is the Botanical Garden. Um, Yang Meng, do you think we have a chance to look at the uh, driver's section? You can see the stand. stand. Uh huh. So the driver is driving inside here. So this is an alarm call to say that please avoid standing at the door and please hold your handle. So I will be holding the handle as they instructed. It says that the next stop is the Botanic Garden. Do not smoke and give your seats to people in special need. The male voice says, ladies and gentlemen, this tram has been disinfected today. Please ensure your hygiene as well. The final destination is Bago. The next stop is Botanical Garden Station. Please keep clear of doors. Really good to hear English instructions as well. Thank you for offering your seats to those in need. So you can hear that the lady is saying, please offer your seats to the people in need. And the male Mandarin voice was saying that the tram has been disinfectant daily and please remain social distancing when you get on the tram. Kenny has, uh, Amir had a really good comment. This is beautiful, Jia Yu Zhongguo. Thank you very much for saying stay strong and stay healthy China and we wish that the whole world can stay healthy and stay strong during this difficult time. Kenny said, will this tram expand in the future like travel to more stops? So we have reached the Botanic Garden Station. Beautiful glimmery. Doors on the right will open. Please take your belongings when getting off. Welcome to take the rail transit. You can again. see that this um, line, because it's from the final destination going backwards, so it doesn't have a lot of people catching from this line. However, in a minute, when we go to the opposite running line, we will see a lot more people. You can see there are a family getting on already. Let's see. 
You can see little kid, and he wants to stand up. What a little chump! So now let's get off the station. Wow, how timely! Stan said, great visibility. Yes, totally. Mark said, I want to take the tram to the Botanic Garden someday. Amar said, I love China. Thank you. Love to you from Beijing as well. You can see a lot of um, travelers and visitors are wearing their masks, remembering to um, protect their personal hygiene and waiting on the tram. Just now on this side, is actually the Beijing Botanical Garden and they have even more people on the line. So just now we can see this lady in the white coat. Let's exit the station together. The lady on the white coat actually was um, disinfecting the station using some liquid. And we just learned that the station and the vehicle will be disinfectant five times a day. Hao. So you can see all of the um, tram staff are wearing their beautiful uniform and they're wearing their face mask as well. I want to show you the other station that the tram is pulling in. This station has tram going through from the city side to the fragrant hill i think i missed the question from kenny will this tram expand in the future i have a question <laughs> so the question is will the tram expand getting longer in the future uh, we uh, have pair of tram traction to get it longer mm -hmm. mm, there are 10 carriages i think it's enough for mm -hmm. the October last year. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So they have plans for this tram to get longer and also they will increase how many carriages they have. Right now, one tram has five carriages, but um, from October they will have 10 carriages. So before you will take 208 uh, to almost 600 passengers. Wow. Amazing. So currently they can take 280 people, but when the uh, tram gets longer and expand, it will take 600 people. So in this area is actually a tent. And there's an, another stop where we can actually get our temperature check. And you can see they have some equipment right here as well so guys now i'm taking you to cross the street to the entrance of the beautiful beijing botanic garden so we just did one stop one stop on the beijing west suburb line and you can already see that they're using a lot of different measures to make sure that when a tram resume work, resume normal operation and passenger intake, they're using a lot of different measures. Other than the ones we could see, other than the ones we could see, they also have different dining time for their staff member. The staff will be divided into different teams and they eat in different times to make sure that when they eat, they will have a comfortable social distance as well. So we're going to follow those visitors who just got off the tram. A, a question from Balu. What is the high speed from India? Hello to Beijing from, hello from Beijing to India. The top speed is 70 kilometers per hour. Thank you for your question. And um, thank you so much for the information. Thank you, Jesse. Um, very proud of China. Stay cool, stay strong. My next, next destination will surely be China. Welcome to China Villa. This is the ticket vending area of the Beijing Botanic Garden. Like the public transport systems, the parks in Beijing are also resuming normal operation. 
you can see a flood of visitors coming in, but on the floor, they still have all of the lines and signs to make sure that people will follow the social distancing. Best of luck, China. Thank you, Ashwani, um, Angelina. Wow, the trams are beautiful. Want to take a ride? Welcome, Giovanni. Are these trams light rail type? Yes, they are. So let's um, see who we can talk to in all of these passengers and see if they're happy to talk to us and find out if they feel safe to take public transport. Hmm, let's try our luck today. Hello. 您好，想问一下您是今天过来游玩的吗？是的，是的。呃，我看您戴了口罩，各方面都很安全。我，然后请问您，呃，今天来乘坐那个公共交通是觉得安全吗？哦，抱歉，我没有乘坐公共交通。
you can see babies, grandpa, grandmas, young friends, couples. Well, let them pass first. You so this beautiful lady, she said, uh, she feels okay and fine taking the public transport today and people have kept the social distance so she feels safe. So on this note and standing on the beautiful platform of the Beijing West Suburb Line uh, from China Media Group, my name is Lucy. Behind the camera is my lovely colleague, Leah. We want to say a big thank you for the staff in the West Suburb Line. And we want to say a big congratulations for the hard work of the conductors, the drivers, um, the cleaners and everyone working behind the scene to make sure that the public transport can resume work in Beijing. And we hope that we can all stay strong and stay healthy and do and go over this difficult time together. From Beijing, this is Lucy and Leah reporting to you and we will say goodbye and good luck to everyone. Bye bye. 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 See you again soon. See you again.